Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the filter function to extract a list of names, for example, that either begin with a specific character or character string or that contain a character or character string as in the using a wildcard or searching based on a wildcard. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a table here and this table is called table one with the column heading of employees. And in cell C1 where I want to indicate the letter that I want to use, I've named that cell letter. And again, it's much easier when you're writing formulas if you can to use tables and named ranges or named cells it makes it easier to understand exactly what your formula is telling you so in this case I'm going to use the filter function now again the filter function is only available in Microsoft 365 so I'm going to type equals filter and my array is going to be table 1 with the column of employees and I want to include anywhere where the left of my text here in that table and the number of characters, in this case I'm only going to say one, equals my cell C1, which is named letter. And if it's empty, which means it returns nothing, I want to put none in there. And as you can see by having the letter A, I get four names, Alexander, Anderson, etc. If I change this to a B, I get a longer list. If I change it to a Q, notice there are no names that begin with a Q, so in this case, I get none. Now what instead, if I want to search any name that has that letter anywhere in it, so basically using it as a wildcard. So what we're going to do here is, again, equals filter. My array is my table, one with employees. And I'm going to use the isNumber function and then the find function. And what am I going to find? I'm going to find my letter within text in my table. And I don't have to worry about start number and that will close my find function, close my is number function, and then if it's empty, again, I want to put none, close my parentheses, and hit enter. And again, in this case, Q is not contained in any of the names. If I put in A, notice I get a long list of all the names that have the letter A anywhere in there, and you can see it's a large quantity. Now, notice though that the find function is case sensitive, so it's only looking for lowercase a's. If I change this to a capital A, now it's only going to pull items that it finds anywhere in the list that has a capital A. And again, I can say a n, and I'll get anyone that has a capital A and a lowercase n. Again, find is case sensitive. If you don't want it to be case sensitive, you can switch the find function to the search function, and now it'll broaden that search to include anything that isn't case sensitive, that either is a capital or lowercase value. Now, how does this work? Well, basically, again, I, I define what my array is, but I'm going to include anything based on is number and search. So what the search function does, it searches for that letter within the text and it returns the number or the position of that letter within that text. So for example, if I highlight the search function and hit F9, it's going to return any position where the search function finds those values and it'll give us the numbers. You can see there's a 10 here, there's a 1 here, 
there's a 2 here, etc. So then the isNumber function is going to indicate which ones of those are numbers and then only filter that table based on where there is a number anywhere in that row. And that's how you can do this in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bice.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.